Today we test this plastic suppressor. Will it fail? Find out. Welcome back to 3R Ballistics. Now, before we get out to the range and start putting some rounds through this plastic suppressor, I wanna go over a few key points that I forgot to mention in part one. One of the most important things, before you print the plastic body, before you do anything, you need to have form one approval. Now, you might notice it also looks a little bit different. And to get the most durability out of this can, the instructions recommend putting a sleeve on this, whether it be carbon fiber or aluminum. We went ahead and did, uh, did an, an aluminum sleeve, and then we went ahead and finished off with the connections that were needed to uh, make it functional. So with all that being said, I know you guys don't want me to talk too much. Let's get out to the range. Let's put our first few shots in this, see how well it works. Ammo. We have both the ammo ink, 220 grain should be going about uh, a little over a thousand feet per second. We have the Garmin to check. We also have some MagTech 200 grain. And to finish it off, if through all this it uh, is still going good, we have some high pressure, fast moving 300 blackout uh, Novex. We will be getting readings without the suppressor and then with the suppressor. We'll end up seeing if it ends up making a big difference but you're gonna have to go mostly off of what we hear out here because none of these uh microphones are going to do the sound suppression justice so on with that let's get on with our shooting and see what we get So obviously it suppresses quite nicely, as you saw in that uh, quick example. But let's start putting some rounds through it now and checking out the durability of this can. Just to get a first person sense of view, we'll probably just go into the dirt or out far. So obviously I am not going to take you through our whole mag dumps and round count, but each one of these little tests we are doing was about 10 rounds each. And we went through about 80 or 90 rounds during this initial testing. So we have now roughly put 90 to 100 rounds through here and we can tell that the sound suppression works quite nice. But we're gonna take it to the slow motion camera now and we're gonna see how it actually functions. Are we getting gases out of the back? Is it messing up the firearm in any way? And other factors that this can might be associated with. So we start out with a little bit of practical accuracy at 50 yards before we get some slow motion footage of the firearm without the suppressor and as you can see this subsonic ammo does not carry much gas out the front now as we do look at the firearm from the side we do notice a little bit of gas escaping from the back now will this affect how the firearm functions it does not it cycles completely fine as operation is normal as seen here let's take a little examination of the external ballistics and we'll notice a little bit of yawing in the projectile. Now I will be completely honest we have never captured this particular ammo in slow-mo so the fact that we have a 220 grain that yaws in a seven and a half inch barrel could mean that the ammo and twist rate for the barrel just don't don't work well together and create instability in the projectile. With all that being said, I do believe the yawing did create a little bit of the inaccuracy in the subsonic ammo. 
but let's continue on with some of the accuracy testing that we had for the subsonic ammo. It's really, really good. I can use this without my ears. Of course, it's subsonic 300 blackout, so take that for what it is. The only concerning part is the accuracy. Now, while I didn't give all the video of the practical accuracy testing, I feel what I showed gives a good representation of what we got throughout the day. Without the suppressor, we were right at one to one and a half MOA. Not great, but I mean, it's a seven and a half inch pistol. That combined with the point of impact shift, once we added the suppressor, we did a lot more shooting than we thought with the subsonic ammo. It took another 10, 15 rounds till we felt good enough to try to get a good center shot. And by that time, we just did the six shots in the center to get a group. Aim more center and just uh, send them. We're going to put six more down range and see what kind of group we get. Whew. Look at that. Not even. I will say that's the one thing with the plastic. It doesn't seem to get hot at all. So let's move on from the subsonic ammo and try some of the high pressure, uh, faster rounds and see how that does. We are still going strong. So we decided to go ahead, bring out the high pressure, the Sonova X. These should be going 2,000, I think, 2,000 feet per second. I think those are from a 16-inch barrel. We don't know. This is a 7.5-inch. That's why we're going to check this one out. We're not necessarily going to try to aim at anything. We just want to get velocity and decibels, and then we'll take this. Just go into the dirt. Speed, 1894. We're just going to do two more. Speed, 1839. 1820. Okay, so once again, we got these Novas on here. Just into the dirt. Here we go. Ooh. 1863. Uh, 118. And last, 1819. Now, finally back from the range, I'm going to give you my complete thoughts on this. This can, I think, could last thousands of rounds, and I know it can last thousands of rounds in a 300 blackout configuration. Uh, I actually went back to the range uh, a few days later and shot another couple hundred rounds. The next set of rounds were all high pressure rounds and, um, you know, more of the same thing. It, it, didn't, uh, it didn't really do anything to the suppressor. I mean, this thing is still holding up the sound was just as suppressed as it was when we started but that leads me to the next thing we're we're going to continue on with this but what platform are we going to do next well i started thinking if we want to actually test accuracy i am going to have to use a rifle that i know i have gotten sub moa at 100 yards and is also higher pressure we have a 308 ruger american here and we will test the suppressor on this setup. We will test it with, without, we will check accuracy and sound suppression. This obviously has a little bit more power going through it. So we will also check gases and get some more footage. That is our next round of testing. This is a little bit of expense. <laughs> the, the four to 500 rounds of 300 blackout that I went through um, if you know what 300 blackout costs, it was, you know, that test in, in itself was, uh, was a little expensive. So please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know. After the 300 uh, blackout, we're going 308. After the 308, what would you like to see? I, I mean, we'll put another 100 rounds of 308 with this. 
We are also planning on doing the AR-10 platform in a 308. This is a 20 inch barrel. We'll probably go down to a 16 inch barrel and do higher rates of fire and see if heating this up affects it. That is gonna be more of the ultimate end test and goal to see how many rounds we can get through it. But we're gonna start again with about 100 rounds of 308 and then go from there. So if you like this comment, again, please like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.